So you just open up your browser to the board, mm -hmm. um, port, you know, 1880, um, and there you're running Node-RED, right? So out of the box. Amazing. Node Red is this just kind of simple environment where you can just kind of drag and drop these different blocks, right? So each of yeah. the each of the different blocks uh, you know can potentially generate oh. messages or receive messages or you know filter messages, right? Mm -hmm. They can they can bring a message in and modify it and do something out. And um, so it's all just this, this simple sort of data flow model. That's pretty yeah. legit. And I noticed uh, when you drug uh, dragged <laughs> the yeah. inject module onto the um, screen. It changed to timestamp. Can you choose different types of injection? Or? Exactly. So if I double click this, I can oh, inject different yeah. types of things. Wow. Um, so here I'm just going to choose to inject a timestamp, but I could put strings or uh -huh. um, other types of data structures, and we'll, we'll actually do that in a second. I want to do another demo with that. Um, and I can also have it repeat at different times, so every second. Um, let's make it every, let's just do two seconds. Um, there we go. So it's going to generate a message that's current timestamp every two seconds. And say OK. Um, then this is a debug module. Um, it says it says message payload. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what it's going to print on the screen, right? So yeah. I can change what it's going to print. Um, but here I just want to print the actual payload of the message. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that's a simple object that's passed between these two. Um, and I'll go ahead and click deploy. This is running on the BeagleBone uh -huh. already, but when you click the deploy, it actually you know saves and runs. That's essentially the run button. Right. So this program is now so running. So now it's going to go every two seconds. And now if I look at the debug window, it's printing a timestamp every yeah. two seconds. And that's kind of, that's not so, you know, crazy fun. So let's, let's <laughs> delete the, just like printing a timestamp. Uh -huh. Let's change that to a, um, a Boolean. Um, so we can do true or false, mm -hmm. right? Um, let's do that. And, um, you know, let's, do, let's have it just do something besides just turn on, right? Just can't just want to turn on. You want to turn on and then like maybe turn off. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's do this uh, uh, trigger function. Um, so that one, when it gets the message, right, it's going to essentially can do a couple of operations, right? So uh -huh. it's going to at the start, it's going to send the string one, mm -hmm. um, and then it's going to wait for 250 milliseconds. It's going to send the string zero. Mm -hmm. um, and let's go. Let's put our debug back in there so we can kind of see what this is doing from a, yeah. on there first, right? And connect these all up. Um, oh, uh oh. Well, I think we're done with this part. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and let's delete the old debug messages. There's a little trash can button there. And now you can see, you know, every two seconds it sends a one, and then a quarter second later it sends a zero. Oh. Um, well, that's kind of cool. But let's do some stuff with hardware rather yeah. than just um, rather than just printing debug messages. Um, so of course the first thing you have to do in hardware is blink an LED, All right? So we're gonna yeah. do a um, discrete output. So this can talk to any of the GPIO pins, um, but we're gonna choose to talk to one of the onboard LEDs. Excellent. Um, and click deploy. Now, oh, that's the place where you need the camera. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got the little LED that's on for a quarter second. Let's make it blink a little faster. I can Let's confirm that to... it is blinking, and it looks amazing. <laughs> Whoa, blinky LED. <laughs> of course, it's the first thing you have to do with oh, the order. It's kind of a, a bit of, of underkill for a mm. one gigahertz processor to blink an LED, <laughs> but um, you can do that, right? you got to start somewhere. Yeah, then, you can, yeah. then you can start stepping up to... to um, <clears throat> With Node Red, you can start stepping up to a lot of things like handling web services, right? So you uh -huh. can, if you get an HTTP request, right, you can start handling that uh -huh. um, to, cr to create web pages. 